please read through the instructions or watch this video in its entirety before attempting installation and be sure to pause the video when necessary. Always keep the Sidekick pedestal washer right side up to avoid any damage to the unit. Make sure you have the following tools required before attempting installation. Remove tape and contents attached to the top of the Sidekick. Remove the foam shipping block and be sure to save the block for later use in case the washer needs to be moved. Open the drawer. Remove the shipping pad. Take out the hoses and installation kit that comes with your Sidekick washer and review its contents. Additional supplies needed for the Sidekick installation are two long water hoses. From the smaller installation kit, remove the bag that contains the five screws. Rotate the top cover 180 degrees and use four of the small screws from the installation packet to mount the cover. Remove any remaining package material. Remember to remove the protective film off the lid of your Sidekick pedestal washer before operating the unit. The wrench tool provided with your kit will be used to level the feet. With someone to help, tilt the main washer machine as you fully retract and level all the feet. On top of the Sidekick, at each corner are holes in which you will use to align the feet and set down your main washer machine. Do not install the Sidekick under a dryer. With someone to help, lift the main washer machine above the Sidekick and set the main washer on top as the feet rest into each corner of the Sidekick. Now take the bag of 16 screws that came with your installation packet. Mount the main washer machine using all 16 screws or on each side of the unit using a Phillips screwdriver. Adjust the four main washer machine feet down about half a turn to tighten them against the pedestal for stability. Do not over tighten the feet as it could damage the brackets. Follow the same instructions to properly adjust the legs and lock nuts to level your Sidekick pedestal washer. Inside the installation packet are two short hoses. Connect the two short hoses to the hot and cold water supply faucets. Connect the center leg of the two Y connectors to each of the short hoses and tighten firmly. Using hoses that you supplied, connect one hose to the hot water inlet valve and one hose on the cold water inlet valve on the upper back side of the main washer machine and tighten firmly. On the sidekick, use each remaining hose and connect one to the hot water inlet valve and tighten firmly. Then connect the last hose to the cold water inlet valve and tighten that firmly. Now connect the main washer machine's hot inlet hose to the hot water faucet's Y connector. Do the same for the main washer's cold inlet hose and connect it to the cold water faucet's Y connector and tighten both firmly. Now take the Sidekick hot inlet hose and connect it to the hot water faucet's Y connector. Do the same for the Sidekick cold inlet hose and connect it to the cold water faucet's Y connector and tighten both firmly. Turn on the water and check the water faucet connections, main washer water inlet valve connections, and Sidekick inlet valve connections for any leaking. Install the Sidekick drain hose using the bigger clamp. Making sure the drain hose elbow is pointing toward the ceiling. Connect the main washer machine and Sidekick drain hoses to the big drain Y connector with the clamp on each hose as shown here. Failure to use the clamps could result in flooding if the hoses come loose from the Y connector. Use a tie strap around the hoses. Insert the drain hose Y connector into the drain and use another tie strap around the bundle of hoses to keep them together. In the special case where you have a turbo steam dryer, instead of connecting this cold water hose from the sidekick to the white connector, connect the short hose from the turbo steam dryer install kit using the Y connector from the dryer kit. Connect the white connector to the end of the short hose. Now connect the cold water hose from the sidekick to one end of the new Y connector. Then connect the long hose from the dryer kit to the other side of the Y connector and tighten firmly. Connect the other end of the long hose to the dryer inlet valve on the lower back side of the dryer and tighten firmly. In the special case where you have a hybrid dryer, it is necessary to connect the dryer drain hose to the Sidekick drain Y connector. Measure one inch on the drain hose and mark it with a piece of tape to prevent inserting the hose too far into the drain Y connector. Insert the hybrid drain hose into the drain Y connector between the two washer drain hoses up to the tape mark. If inserted more than an inch, it will cause leaking at the drain Y connector. A newer version of this kit will include a drain Y connector with a one inch hose stopper built in to prevent the hose from being inserted too far. Use a tie strap around the hoses to keep them together. Insert the drain Y connector into the drain. Use another tie strap 
around the bundle of hoses to keep them together. Once finished, plug in your units and you are now ready to do laundry using your twin wash system.